Yes, Mark Williams today began his quest for a third UK Championship title. His first round opponent was Joe Joggia. That's one of the matches that we feature in tonight's highlights from the Barbican Centre in York. But we start with what happened in this afternoon's encounters between Adrian Gunnell and Mark Allen. But first of all, the match between Dominic Dale and Snooker's bright new young thing, Judd Trump. It's a great start for Judd Trump. Trump. Brilliant. Brilliant century break. Do you think he's got a little bit of cue power? <laughs> well, I'll stop the stalemate. He's given Dom a very good chance. And this is beautifully played. Absolutely fantastic shot. Oh. Well, can you believe it? Dominic, he must be absolutely delighted. He's leading 4-2. Oh, they get away with it this time again. No. Where's the red going? Surely he's not going to fluke the red. Uh, what? That might just be a huge turning point in this match. Well, that was reckless. And it's not finished yet. Where's that pink? Surely not in the middle pocket. You cannot get your breath. What is happening out there? Plenty of pressure on this. Well, what a kick he had there. The white stopped dead, John. Unbelievable that was. Brilliant match. Enjoyed every shot. I was four to up and looking good and in control, and you know I was I was confident the way I was playing that I'd win the match. And uh, I had him where I wanted him. He's got to try and dig in, and, and after 4 2, um, I had a couple of flukes. But like, you just got to take your chances, and when it went, went 4 3, um, I really produced my best snooker to come back. Meanwhile, world number 14, Mark Allen, who's had a difficult year after it was revealed back in April that the 25 year old had been suffering from depression, he's past Adrian Gunner by six frames to three to book his place in round two for the fourth time in seven years. I still need to find that balance a bit better. I am getting closer. I know that my B game is slightly closer now to me again, but there's still a bit of a gap. And against the top players like the Higgins and O'Sullivan and Mark Williams, Selby, you're not going to get another chance. After the match in his press conference, Mark Allen also had some fierce words for snooker supremo Barry Hearn. He suggested that we should be moving away from the darts feel, that Barry Hearn shouldn't be tinkering with the format of major tournaments, and he called for Barry Hearn to quit. Now, that's a story that I'm sure will run as the week continues. But we move on to the match now between last year's runner-up Mark Williams and Hertfordshire's Joe Joggia. Williams, of course, has long been one of the game's outstanding players, so let's dip into the vault to find out what makes the Welshman tick. I can get on with any, any, anyone really, I mean, you know, just like to have a laugh and, and wind people up, you know, I mean, most of the people you meet uh, are all like I find. But pretty much when you're out there playing, it doesn't really make any difference who you're playing against, because, well, for me, you know, I just play the balls and, and the ball doesn't really, uh, really matter. Probably my motorbike, just because I like speed, really, and, uh, um, the cars I had, nothing gives you the kind of speed you can get and the acceleration you can get from a bike. No, at one time I used to play lo lo lots and lots of badminton, probably three, three, four times a week, but apart from that, now I haven't got any in talent. I wasn't really that good at that, to be fair. We always look at the draws, and if you're playing someone like you know, Indian Zenry and O'Sullivan, people like that, that's the ones you know you're always, 
you're always going to enjoy. It's just the ones you don't know much about, really, that can upset you because you don't know what they're going to do. Mark's opponent was 36-year-old Joe Joggia, who was making his first appearance in the televised stages of the UK Championship. Although he's ranked 50 in the world, he's certainly capable of springing a surprise, as he's shown with a couple of notable performances at PTC events this year. But Joggia, who's been a professional for 17 years now, faced a formidable challenge against the world number two, who won their only previous meeting seven years ago. And Williams began with a flourish, taking the early advantage and led by three frames to one, thanks to breaks of 75 in frame three and 74 in the fourth. We'll pick up the action in frame five. Williams at the table leading 62-27. Terry Griffiths and John Virgo are your commentators. Oh, you had to swerve round the brown and you overdone it a bit. Caught the red too full. There's a chance. You can only tie, of course, he's 35 points behind with 35 on the table. As John said, he's, at least there's a chance. Pink's a little awkward, but the other balls are, are well set. Key shot here. Good position off this and he'll be off to go. Mm, he hasn't overdone it, is he? Mm, well, almost. Eight. Still a bit thin. Let's play quite gently here to hold the cue ball for the green. That's well done. Ten. It's as close as he could have got to the green on that shot. Now then, can he hold himself together? In an ideal world, he'd like to come down the right-hand side of the table when playing for the blue. But didn't feel as though he could 17. do that, so a good positional shot needed. Obviously, if the pink was on his spot, it would be a formality, but he needs to judge this well. And he's still run a fraction more, and I think that's just about inch perfect. OK, he's close to the cushion, but he's got the nice angle on the pink to get position on the black. Oh, why play it so hard? Why play it so hard? He just rolls it in, bounces off the cushion. Surely he'd have had a half-ball black. A little bit of nerves there for me. Well, he didn't want to leave himself with the wrong pot, did he? A difficult shot or a thin pot on the black. No. Oh. Unexpected miss there. And Mark Williams on a winning ball. He's normally very efficient on those. And Joe Joggio's mistake, he's got another chance. Didn't really threaten the pocket with that pink. If he goes to the pot here, he should be cannon in the black. Very well played, sir. Deserves a good piss of that one, and he's got it. Six. That was an excellent pot. Well, he got a second opportunity, and he took it well. well here. We're into a real spot. Well, this is a toss. You want to win. Let's hear what yep. the call is. It's a tail. Your choice, Mark. Mark Williams won the toss. And, of course, if you win the toss, you put your opponent in to, pla to play. Shh, shh, shh. Stop, 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 stop. Now, there's many, many ways of playing this. The straight up and down used to be our way, but now it seems to be pushed through the black on one side cushion and the white on the other. 
And that's exactly what he's played. It guarantees getting the black safe, but it gives your opponent first chance to put distance between cue ball and object ball. Well, he's not done. That does surprise me. Not certain about that shot. Ooh, that cue ball should have been tight on the ball cushion. Not just about near the ball line. He's had a look at the possibility of cross doubling this black, but there's always a chance. Where's that cue ball going? Where's the cue ball going? Seven in the frame. Well, that's the frame. Joe what a turnaround. Look for all the world, Mark Williams is going to win that frame. Joe Joggia tied it up and has won the respotted black after the in off. Unbelievable. It's only one frame behind now. 3 2, Mark Williams. Opportunity missed for Mark Williams. Opportunity taken by Joe Joggia. But Williams took frame six with a break of 79 to re establish a two frame cushion. Frame seven next, Joe.